Another real popular connection type is component video. Uh, it uses more cables than just an HDMI or a regular standard video. So you have two different types of cables you have to use. There's component video cables that have three plugs on each end. They're colored red, green, and blue. And then you'll, that'll only carry picture. You'll have to use audio cables, your standard red and white audio cables as well to get sound. Look on the back for green, red, blue colors. Um, be careful, there are two reds on the back of most devices. One's for sound, one's for picture. So make sure it's either lined up with the other green and blue colors and it should be labeled either PR or CR so you know you have the video connection. The audio connection will only be labeled R. Just plug them in matching the colors. Then take the other end. Find an available component input on your TV and plug them in also just matching the colors. And that will give you a picture. And next is the audio cables. This is just two, this will carry your two channel sound. Just plug the red into the red and the white into the white. And then below where you plug in your video cables, plug in the white and the red for sound. Then you'll have picture and sound. If you do this connection and your picture looks really weird and you're getting a buzzing sound from your speakers, chances are you have the two red cables turned around either on the TV or on the device, so just double check that. Another thing is a lot of times these can be hooked up in a dark area and it's really easy to confuse the green and the blue connections. Uh, just make sure those are correct if you're not getting a picture also or if the color is really weird. Uh, if you're not getting a picture at all after doing this, the green cable is not hooked up correctly because that is the master cable and carries the main video signal. Without that, you will not get any picture at all.